It's Saturday, a day that I reserve to review your comments that you leave on our channel and on our videos. So this morning as I was going through your comments, I came across a whole bunch of them that had to do with the topic of dusting. I happen to think that's a great question myself. So I have assembled, just for you, Melissa Maker's top 10 list of dusting tricks. Number 10. If you're dusting a ceiling fan or light fixtures, pick yourself up one of these bendable dusters. They are so helpful and so handy, and they let you do your dusting in a quick and easy way. You will love them. Oh, and did I mention that they are washing machine safe? Tip number nine. Rather than purchasing some crazy cleaning tool to get into your corners, moldings in to get rid of cobwebs, simply take a mop hole Take a sports sock, flip it inside out, and tie it with an elastic band. Now you have a corners, ceiling, and cobweb removing cleaning tool, and it costs you nada. Number eight, rather than getting some fancy schmancy thing to clean your walls, if you swing that way, just pick up a flathead mop or a Swiffer. Take a microfiber cloth and use that to clean your walls. Just go in an up and down motion and dust your walls the easy and inexpensive way. Tip number seven. The next time you're on the throne, look up at the exhaust fan cover and just see how covered in dust it really is. Quick and easy way to clean it is to take your vacuum, pop on a brush attachment and just flip the hose up and brush up all of that dust. Number six. A lot of people are curious about the best way to clean your baseboards. Well, truth be told, you get down on your hands and knees, you take a microfiber cloth and you start wiping. But if that's not how you wanna do it, do the same thing we talked about for cleaning the ceilings. Tip number five brought to you by Molly. In order to clean any fine ornaments or little items that are hard to dust otherwise, get yourself an old makeup brush or paintbrush. Spray it ever so lightly with a little bit of water and then start to do quick detail dusting, going from the top to the bottom. That will make sure your delicate item is dusted and clean. Tip number four. In honor of the winter, which I actually don't want to honor at all, I do need to tell you that when you're dusting, you always want to start at the top and work your way to the bottom. Why winter, do you ask? Because dust is exactly like snow. Also, my nemesis. It falls from the top to the bottom. Tip number three, use microfiber cloths. You've heard me talk about them all the time, but if you're using paper towels, J cloths, terry cloths, old t-shirts, cotton diapers, I don't know what people use to dust these days, but you're just wasting your time. Those cloths push dust around, they don't actually pick them up. Microfiber cloths, I talk about them so much because they are that much better. They are electrostatically charged, which means they are designed to find and trap dust. They can hold seven times their weight in water, which means they're very absorbent and they can cling on to a lot, and they don't leave any lint behind. Number two, you need to get your ducts clean, not your ducts, but your ducts cleaned every five years. Ducts are very important to maintain because they transfer all the air in your home. And if you have dirty ducts, no matter what kind of air you're pumping through your house, it's gonna be full of dust. And finally, tip number one, if you have any areas that need vacuuming and you for whatever reason can't move stuff or let's say it's an area under your bed and you can't really see what it is that needs to be vacuumed and you're concerned perhaps about vacuuming things up that you perhaps shouldn't be like paper clips, money or pens, what you can do and this might sound strange and people might think you have a weird fetish but just stay with me. Put a pantyhose over your vacuum head and you can particularly do this with a brush attachment. What it'll do is allow the dust to come through but it will keep any of those larger items that shouldn't be in your vacuum out. Well those are my top 10 dusting tricks that I thought of for you today. 
Did you like this top 10 trick list thing? Let me know because if you did and you have an idea for one of these lists, I will put one together for you. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. As always, leave us comments in the box below. Maybe you have a really good dusting tip that I missed. If you want to catch more of our great cleaning videos, product reviews, and giveaways, hit the button above to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.